peace, peace, and blessings, okay? So, I've been with a lot of people, and I feel like that's a problem. And I also feel as if my soulmate is out there, but I need to be put together a little bit more. This is what this is saying. Uh, that This is the question that you're asking me. So, Father, work in me for you. Let me tell you for you what the answer is. Okay, in the past, you may have dealt with people that were running marathons. You see, the devil is a bitch. The devil is a deceiver with the mouth, the word. So maybe never manifesting what they said. Running cap, capping marathons. Cap. You know what cap is? A lie. You know what a lie is? Lies is twisting the truth the lie is nothing but the truth perverted cold is nothing but heat uh dissipated love is nothing but hate reverse so you feel unobtainable that is nothing but a reverse soul of uh, you not understanding your worth, know your worth and add some tax to it. And in the past, people may have uh, wanted to um, sabotage your situation by just speaking things that were lies for you, making you move a little bit faster than you should have. And uh, um, you're not a vehicle. You're a temple. A temple is what? Walls. A dwelling place for God to come in. A car is something that has miles on it. So right now you feeling like a car. You got met. You think you have miles on yourself. It, that a person meeting you right now and don't know what you know until you feel what you know and their spirit can see it. No one knows this. You know this. So I think that. Is due to the fact that maybe you're around people that you don't need to be really seeing anymore. Currently, this means that there's people in your life, old people that got to re-meet you. They know you, but they got to re-meet you. They may have you in a position of feeling like the person who, who, uh, father working me, disrupts their vibrational being by caring about strangers or people talking about their house, their old house that's getting robbed. It don't matter. You don't live there no more. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you you are a house. It don't matter who's robbing your old house. You don't live there no more. Now, moving forward as a house, you have to know that you have a rug. That rug is your sexuality because it's obviously something to you. So when someone's walking in your house, make sure that that rug that's there, that's white, they take off their boots. That's the red flags. That's the capping marathon. Because if you allow someone to walk into your house with uh, muddy boots on, right? They walking all over the rug. You ignoring it for some reason. Or that's just like them using you and you ignoring it over and over again. Then who's to blame the second time they come over with mud on their boots or problems in their life? They're going to step right on it. You got to set the rules in the beginning. Don't be afraid to uh, set rules. I think definitely God has someone lined up for you. You are enough. You're not missing nothing. You got things. View yourself as a package. Sometime, my sister, the package get delivered to the wrong address. All right, I'm going to be posting this for you, and thank you for your question.